Sparta kicked them, man. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, yeah. We about to, this is about to be a good one. So I did Taekwondo for a total of three and a half years. And when I started, I like I started I was really good from the get go, even though I didn't know what I was doing. But like my uh, instructor saw like a lot of potential. So he put me like in advanced classes and like taught me extra stuff that people usually wouldn't start learning and then started me sparring in like my first couple months took off and kept doing that. And then in high school, I was on the bowling team for like two ish years. Uh, I also did track in high school. I did that for two years. I did cross country. I was only able to do that to do that for one year. Uh, but do a lot of stuff with like computers and stuff, just you know, watching videos, watching TV, listening to music, play a lot of games, you know. And I go like real in depth with that type of stuff. Uh, COVID affected my cross country because the the second year I would have because I started my junior year, so then my second year would have been my senior year. But I wasn't able to run that season because I haven't. I didn't take my SAT that previous spring because I had um, other like I had dual enrollment classes I had to take at that time, and I had like an important project I had to work on. So I was gonna take my SATs in the summer, but COVID pushed all of the summer SATs into the fall, and then cross country is in the fall, and I had two SATs and an ACT on three different race weekends, three different race days, because cross country races are Saturday mornings. So it came down to cross country or, you know, like testing. And so I had to put testing ahead. So that was three races I couldn't do. And then there was a different race I couldn't do because of like scheduling. Because I was shown eight cents in a jar through the upper bound program that I'm in at my high school. And that's where I like did the different workshops. And she kind of like was like, hey, there's this thing, you know, I think you'd be great for it. And I saw and I was like, you know, like, I could do good on that. Like, I can tell my story and, like, show what, what I know, what I've done, you know, I think, you know, I could do this. And it more, like, opened my eyes of, like, the value of money to where it's like, oh, yeah, you may just think that's just, like, buying a burger. But if you buy, like, a burger a couple times a week, that adds up over a month. And you do that every month, that's like a large amount of money over a year where you could have bought something of much more value for the future instead of just getting a burger. So like it definitely like kept me in check for that and like I just don't spend a lot of like spend a lot on like frivolous stuff to where like uh like I am hungry but like I can wait till I get home to eat something. I don't need to go out and eat something. Oh I like that shirt. I I have other shirts at home. I don't need to buy another one. So it's just kept me in check a lot you know just to not buy things that I don't need you know and save for the future uh, as of this fall I will be attending the University of Central Florida and my major is computer science uh, my career of choice would be game development so where you know you're like kind of like well it's like it's all like behind the scenes but it's like part of like being the creative thought process behind it doing the programming and like building the game itself, like kind of like projecting the ideas, creating the ideas and doing like that part of it, you know, the like the creative design process of it all. All right, so for the last part, um, we have an envelope um, sitting on the desk or on the coffee table, mm -hmm. whatever. Yes. And then if you can go ahead and just read the first two lines. I'm never good at opening envelopes. <laughs> I've opened a lot of envelopes. I've never been good at it. They always end up ripped. You are the winner. Enclosed is a check for $800 to use towards your next journey as you continue to acquire assets and bid a wolf. Thank you. Congratulations, boss. Thank you. Gotcha. Anything you want to say to the to the camera to eight cents in the jar? Uh, 
thank you for just this opportunity and just all the financial help you've given me the past couple of years. Just it's helped me now with everything I've done with my money and I'm not broke, which is good. And I'm setting myself up for the future to not be broke, you know. Yes, sir. <laughs> Congrats, boy. Right. Thank you. Congrats, man. Enjoy that. Thank you. <laughs>